Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are building a solo in the key of D major. We'll be breaking it down into five sections, putting all the sections together at the end of the video to complete the solo. Here is section one. Okay, so section one is all on the third string. And you're gonna use your first finger, you're gonna slide up to seven. You're gonna go from seven, slide to nine, back to six here, okay? So and we're gonna play the fourth fret. And we're gonna go from four, slide to six to two here, okay? So it's the same same rhythm that I did up here, okay? And that repeats. Okay, so let's hear that again on the backing track. Okay, so section two again is on your third string, and then we'll be playing a few notes here on the B string at to end this section here. So section two starts on your ninth fret. You're going to slide up to your ninth fret. You're going to play 12, 11 here. So you're going to have 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 7. Slide to two, okay? So it's 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 7. Slide to two. So all together, slide from nine. second time we do it we're not going to slide to, to two we're going to stay here and we're going to build this up here we're going to go from nine on the g to seven on the b to ten on the b here so it's going to go so all together we have So let's hear that again in the track.
Okay, in section three, we are going to start where we left off on section two. So we finished here on this 10th fret of the B string note. Okay, so our first note of section three, our first finger will play the seventh fret of the G here. And we're going to do a full bend on the eighth fret of the B here. So we're going to hold that bend and then we're going to slide up to what we just bend to. So it's... And we're going to grab the 7th fret of the high E after that, okay? So while you're bending that B string up here full on the 8th fret, you're just going to slide up to 10, grab the 7th fret of the high E, and go back to the 10th fret of the B here, okay? So all together we have... Okay, and we're going to do the same thing again. Then we're going to go 8, 7 on your B, 9, 7 on the G. So, so all together we have... So let's hear that again in the track. Okay, so section four, you're going to start on your third string. You're going to hammer on from seven to nine. And you're going to play eight and seven on the B string here. Okay, so you're going to go eight, pull off to seven twice. You're going to slide that second finger up to ten. And going to grab two sevens on the G afterwards. So all together we have hammer on from 7 to 9 on your G, two pull offs from 8 to 7 on the B, slide to 10 on the B, and grab the 7 on the G. Okay, so all together. The second time it's the same, we're just going to change the ending again. So I'm just grabbing the 10 underneath there on the high E, okay? So all together. Okay, so section five, we're going to play four notes. We're going to double these notes. You're going to start on your seventh fret of the G. You'll play that note. You'll play the tenth fret of the B. You'll play the seventh fret of the B and the ninth fret of the G. So all together we have. Have 
two sevens on the G, two tens on the B, two sevens on the B, and two nines on the G. Okay, so let's take all five sections and put them into our full solo and see how we sing. Okay, friends, that concludes the lesson, and I hope you got something from this lesson, and uh, have fun building this solo, and we'll see you on the next lesson. Thank you so much. <laughs>